Uh oh. Little delay right right here. <laughs> Now this is a little sterile. The reason why is because I'm going directly into a, a Line 6 amp, which is a modeling amp, and I'm using this pedal. I just I just purchased this pedal because I wanted to try and get the original Maestro sound. And I keep looking at that camera because that's my. This is the laptop I'm recording off of. I just purchased this Satisfaction pedal. And I got to be honest with you, I'm not very happy with it. I don't think it gets the original Maestro sound. So, um, but but I did purchase a new fuzz face. I got a new fuzz face, and um, I like the tone of this. In fact, I will try to play this. In fact, I'm going to plug it in now. I'll plug it in now. I have the original, okay, from '68. And I have to say that, that this is this is what they call uh, Germanian transistors. This is like like the original Germanian trans. I opened this up, and the circuitry probably the same, but it's it's the modern the modern um, components. So and there is a balance in this. They they have a balancing. So in other words, you don't have to get the two transistors to be perfectly matched. You can match them. This is the same. This is the same circuitry that you would see in um, the Roger Mayer, the Roger Mayer fuzz face. And um, I think it's worth it. It was $130, but I like it because it's ballsy. And, 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 and there's a big difference between the fuzz face and any other, any other fuzz box, as far as I know. I mean, I haven't, I haven't played every single fuzz box on the planet, but I could tell you that the fuzz face is extremely unique. And I have the original Germanian, but it's so, you know what it was? Back in the day, I used to stomp the hell out of it because I thought it was broken. But I didn't know that these things had to warm up. You needed the old carbon batteries. Back then, that's what they had, carbon batteries. You didn't use the alkali batteries. It was supposed to make a difference. I don't know how true this is, but I've heard that this is the, this is the reason why Jimi Hendrix used to try so many of these things. And um, you know, until he he would he would he would buy a whole bunch of them and then just just use the ones that seem to work the best for him. But they're very temperamental. That I gotta say, the fuzz faces are very temperamental. So I will I will play. I'll, I'll hook this up right now. I'm not even going to delay with it. I just wanted to give a shout out to um, Roger Matty. That's M A D D Y. Now he posted a he posted a video before he put a bag on his head and you know I feel bad for people that are on the internet and they don't get any reaction because um, you know it, it's it's really terrible to knock yourself out make a video and get no zero reaction so it's not like it was in the old days and the old days meaning about 10 years ago uh, when you posted something and you got something even a hater you know so um, but now it's 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 different and I'm not complaining I'm not complaining. Any, anywho, I wanted to give a, a, a few shout-outs, and I will put this box in. I will not forget that. Uh, now, I see here we have uh, Big Rab. Um, let's see. Uh, Ken, okay, Bonnie and Ken. Um, it looks like um, Vital Finds. Lori is back in the picture. Who else is in here? Hans from Norway. Um... Of course, William T. He's the moderator now, one of the moderators, I think, on Vloggerheads. And let's see, I'm going to go over to, um, let me see who else is posting. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Gilligan, Gilligan. Oh, yeah, Gilligan. Yeah, uh, it's good to see you. 
Uh, who else is there? Let me go to Voasis. Because uh, Voasis is the uh, is a, a sort of like an extension of loggerheads. So, and uh, most of the people have gone over to, um, well, Facebook. There's a lot of people on Facebook. Um, Daniel Tijuana. I see him in here. Of course, Sid the Skeptic. Um, then you got the quintessential Christine from from England. Uh, also, uh, I see. Um, uh, let me see what her name is. Okay, Dawn. I remember Dawn's been from day one. Uh, we're talking about 2008. You know, I think around there, 2008, 2009. So she's an old timer. Uh, she has an accent. I think she's in from England. I'm pretty sure. But uh, there's a certain accent. You know, I guess different. You know, it's the same thing like in Brooklyn. You can come from different parts of the of Brooklyn, and and you can have an accent. You know, from different parts of the neighborhood. You know, so I I might not I might not be. Let me go to Voices. I want to see. Obviously, Frank is in control over there. Frank's got the reins. His wife Lori is also in the picture. Um, the daughter I see quite often. Also, she makes videos. I apologize if I'm not getting a name because I said this. I said this to. Um, to Roger when I PM'd him. I didn't PM him. I, I made a comment back to his video. I says, I don't remember all these names. If I, if I try to remember them off the top of my hat, um, which I'm not wearing, um, I would I would probably lock up and say like, oh, who's that person? Like, Silly Silly Tom. Okay, Silly Silly Tom, I forgot to mention. How could I leave him out? Um, I also saw Liz in there a couple of times. Uh, making comments, uh, but they see. Uh, all right, now you got. Um, okay, I see JoJo in here. Yeah, the last thing I posted was a picture. Let me go to the videos. I wanted to say hello to to my um, cam cam model friends, Sandy from Canada. Also, another Canadian, Dave, one man out there. Also, Gerald. See, I didn't, I didn't pronounce your name wrong this time. I, I was calling Gerald Gerard. See, because I'm dyslexic and I see, I don't see the middle part. So that's what happens to me. I apologize for that, Gerald. Uh, he's out in England. Who else is, who else is out there? Uh, I, I see Kenny's still over there. Plugging away. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, so. Dave One Man. Yeah, Gerald goes by the by the handle of uh, JVB1939 English Britain. And um, so. Let's see. Jeffrey, I haven't, I, he made a comment, but I don't think he makes any more videos. Um, I want to say also hello to Twyla79. Who knows where she is? She's bouncing around somewhere over there. I see um, she posted something on Instagram, and uh, there's also a new site. Uh, I, I think it's new. It's called um, New Something. Let me see. New. So probably one of the first ones. Let's see what this says. This is probably the only way I could do it. You now, all right. So you now is a new is a new thing. Now the only reason why I don't get into this stuff is because I have to go through such a rigmarole, passwords and all kinds of all kinds of. It's crazy. All right. So let me put that fuzz box in. I'll, I'll, I'll just immediately hook that thing up, and you'll you'll see a you'll see a big difference in the, in the tone. It has a much more ballsier, um, low end to it. This is what the um, satisfaction looks like. And um, the the um, the fuzz face you can't go wrong with. In my opinion, I, I don't think you can go wrong with the fuzz face. You know, if I was to play my regular amp, 
my regular amp, I use a Premier. It's a, it's, it's a, what they call um, point to point wiring circuitry, and um, there's no, there's no effects. It's just a straight, straight out amp, which I really do prefer. I prefer that. Normally, when I was playing back in '76, um, I used to go straight into my Marshall, and I think the only thing I had was the fuzz face and, um, and a wah wah pedal. I had a Greco wah wah pedal with the original, um, with the with they made these special um, what they call um, it's the main component. In the uh, wah wah pedal that gives it the uh, the sound. See, I told you I'd lose it. Um, anyway, it's a it's a it's, it's a dime. It looks like a dime, and um, it's sort of like a it's really a transformer. It's like half of a transformer inductor. That's what it's called, inductor. Now. Here, you can hear the difference. And you know something? I think this actually sounds better than, than the... Uh... I think I... It needs a little top end, but um, I could I could I could doctor that up. But you could tell it's it's a Hendrix thing because you know. Of course, it goes like this. It's not no per note exact, but this is my rendition. get the idea but I like this box I think it's well worth the 130 bucks and um, I think it's a pretty good um, reproduction of the sound uh, I was a little disappointed at the fact they're not the red that they're not the, the components but then you know I think they did a pretty good job with it and I'm glad I got the um, I'm glad I got that um, that type now the reason why I'm wearing these glasses I'm going long here the reason why I'm wearing these glasses is because I've been having a problem with the glare from the main computer. Not so much my laptop, but uh, the main computer uh, is hurting my eye, especially this one. And uh, I've, I've got like uh, some floaters going on here and it's right in the field of my vision. So I'm wearing these, uh, they're called Blu-ray blockers. And um, I find that helps a little bit. And that's one of the main reasons why I haven't been on the computer that often, because it really bothers me when I... I'm going to try to have that, that taken care of. There are some specialists that deal with floaters. And uh, it's not a line. This is like a cloud that gets right in the middle. And it really is annoying. It's very annoying. So... And I have teeth issues and all kinds of stuff going on. So that's the lowdown. I gave the shout outs to you. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. Um, I'm sure I did. Because at one time we had hundreds and hundreds of people. 
on on the site and um, I apologize for that so I wish everybody well I hope you're enjoying your summer uh, today is the 21st the 21st of July 2018 so I'll catch you guys later love you all